before X chromosome inactivation, XCI, T6 is expressed on both X chromosomes. As long as T6 is expressed, Zist is only expressed at very low levels on these chromosomes. When one of these neighboring genes is unwound euchromatin, the other is wound heterochromatin, and T6 controls the chromatin state of the Zist promoter. Zist is located upstream of T6, and its enhancer is regulated by the stage of an embryo's development. Zist binds the X chromosome in cis and spreads a silencing complex. The Zist RNA measures about 17 kilobases and includes a 1.6 kilobase region known as REP-A. OCT4 proteins form a dimer with CTCF protein, which binds to and activates transcription of T6 and Zite. XCI begins when the levels of OCT4 expressed in the early embryo drops. The two X chromosomes pair briefly, lasting less than 30 minutes. The only site which is required for pairing is the ZIC site, which contains both the ZIST and T6 genes. If this X chromosome pairing does not occur, as a result of either mutated genes or specific drugs, embryos can be formed with two activated X chromosomes or two inactivated X chromosomes. Both of these conditions are lethal. When pairing occurs, something happens which results in an asymmetrical expression of T6. The chromosome that decreases production of T6 then increases production of Zist. While Zist is being transcribed, and is thus tethered to the X chromosome uh, which uh, has been inactivated. The REPA region binds and transport uh, PCR2 proteins, the polycomb repressive complex 2. These PCR2 proteins then accumulate on the X chromosome which will be inactivated. This inactivation can at first be reversed but then later is stabilized and maintained through epigenetic mechanisms such as DNA methylation, histone hypoacetylation, and the binding of a histone variant uh, as well.